Right, welcome back to 2024, question A4. This is a solids and contact question. So the image below shows a sports cone and a football. So we've got our sports cone and football there. The drawing on the right shows the elevation and incomplete plan of a similar sports cone and football in contact with each other. And they want us in part A to complete the plan of the solids and contact. So we want to find this sphere, okay, in contact down here, okay? So it's going to be somewhere down the center. It's going to be somewhere down here, but we don't know where, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all draw that sphere in contact with the extreme generator, okay? So as if it's resting out here, and then we can slide it into place. So we want to draw it out here first of all in contact with the extreme generator. So the um, radius of the sphere has been given to us, right? So that's our radius of our sphere. Okay, so the height that it's going to be off the ground is going to stay in line with the height of the center there. What we want to find is the distance out. So it's going to be that radius out. So first of all, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line to that. So just a light perpendicular line that I can measure along. All right. Here I have my radius, so I'm going to step that out. All right, so now I'm going to draw a line that's equidistant to that. So if I was to draw put the point of my compass at any point along there and draw a sphere, it would be perfectly in contact with the extreme generator of the cone. But we know we also want it in contact with the horizontal plane. So it's actually going to be down here. That's our center. Let's swing an arc. So this would be the position of it if it was in contact with the extreme generator. All right, so that is my center there. Okay. Um, it doesn't say to find a point of contact. So we're not going to find a point of contact there, but well, I'll just show you how we would actually. So. Line up at the side, go to the extreme generator, come back along and in like that. So right there is the point of contact between the spheres which is in that position <coughs> and, and the cone. So now let's bring our sphere down. So here would be the center of that cone if it was in that position. But it's not, it's down here. So we're actually going to rotate it around the cone. Okay, so point of the compass on the center of the cone, out to its position, and we'll rotate that. Like so, so here is going to be the center of my cone because I or of my sphere because I brought it down. Okay, and I can get my radius again. Point of the compass there. And we'll swing our circle there to show that's our sphere. Okay, if it was required, we would also bring the point of contact down and rotate it around and join the centers. All right, so that's part A there completed. All right, draw the plan and elevation of another sphere, right, which shall be in contact with the cone at point P. So it's going to be in contact with the cone here and rest on the horizontal plane. So it'll be resting on the horizontal plane, similar to this one. So we're just working reverse. They've given us the point of contact. I want to use that to find the position of our cone, or position of our sphere. So um, first of all, I'm going to find this point P in elevation. All right, so that'll be up here. Okay, and um, I'm going to rotate Point P around so that it's resting on the extreme generator. So here it's on the extreme generator. I'll project that up. Okay, so that's like taking a horizontal section when I rotate it. So we can project that across. So here is point P in the elevation. All right, and so they 
given this point, we have P in elevation. Okay, so any sphere that's in contact with the horizontal plane and the cone, okay, will be equidistant from both. So I'm going to bisect this distance or bisect this angle between them. Right, so bisect that angle. So if I was to put the point of my compass anywhere in that line and set it to the distance to the horizontal plane, it would also touch the extreme generator there. Okay, but this is a specific sphere because we have a point of contact first. So I'm going to go out at 90 degrees to my extreme generator from where that point of contact would be on the extreme generator. So right here, that's my center of my sphere. So point of the compass there, set it to that radius. Okay, so there's where it would be. Okay. Um, now, we know that it should be in here somewhere, so we're going to bring it down, rotate it around to find its exact position, and then we can bring it up. So, center point, project that down until it is in line with the extreme generator. Rotate that around. And we can draw a straight line between the center here of our cone and true P to find the center of our sphere. So we have the radius of our sphere up here. We'll draw a sphere there in plan. Okay, so that's in plan. Now we just need to find it in the elevation. So project up the center. Okay, the radius we have, so we'll just step up the radius there. Now I can draw my cone perfectly into contact with the horizontal plane. Sorry, move there. Rotate that around like so. Okay, so there's my sphere in plan and elevation, and I've got my point of contact with that. Okay, so that's part B completed. A nice size and contact question. We're seeing that more recently in uh, some of the questions these days.